The year plus mask mandate for public indoor spaces in Oregon was lifted by Governor Kate Brown back in May, but now some areas across the Northwest are returning to indoor mask recommendations. They say it's due to a rise in Delta variant cases. Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. Alec Nolan talked with some people in Bend to get their reaction. He joins us now with details. Alec, what do folks think? Lee, people seem to be less divided on the issue than before. The question of masks or no masks has been a hot topic for a year and a half. But there appeared to be a common thread with some of the people in Bend I talked to today. Mask fatigue was that thread. Health officials in Multnomah County are now strongly recommending that people wear masks in all indoor public spaces, regardless of vaccine status due to the highly contagious Delta variant. But a return to mask guidelines could put some central Oregonians in a tough spot. I mean, it's going to hurt businesses again if we have to either start policing people, which I don't really think should be our responsibility to have to police people in that manner. Jason Camberg, the co-owner of the Point Pub and Grill in downtown Bend, says some people are still using masks, but he feels there's been a return to normalcy. I still have people that choose to wear masks, which is great if they want to, but we have seen things kind of trend back to being normal. And Jason Camberg tells me that even if Deschutes County were to input a mask mandate for indoor dining, he thinks many people would just refuse to listen. And we do our best to follow what the state requires and whether we kind of like it or not, we try to just kind of follow that. But I know a lot of businesses, even before, were kind of going against it, going against the grain a little bit. And I think if it happens again, I think we're going to see a lot more of that. And others I spoke to are feeling the fatigue if asked to wear masks again. I would be annoyed. Nina Fleck and her friend Lily Jamison are both vaccinated, so they don't see the point in ramping up masks again. I mean, I already have the protection if I'm vaccinated, so there really would be no point. And Fleck thinks it's taking two steps back while trying to take a step forward. If you're vaccinated and you have to wear a mask indoors, that would be backtracking because you're already protected and if you don't wear a mask then you're just an unvaccinated then that's your problem for now only time will tell what happens to residents and businesses on the high desert now these are recommendations by counties across the northwest but later on we'll tell you more about mask mandates being implemented in other cities across the u.s tonight we're asking if you think masks should be required again for public places to weigh in, head over to our web poll on the KTVZ.com homepage or download the News Channel 21 app and look for the poll in the drop-down menu. Lee, back to you.